Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Ronald W. Satz, founder and chair of the International Society of Unified Science and president of TransPower Corporation, a commercial and custom software manufacturing and certified systems engineering company. I work as a theoretical physicist and as a systems and mechanical engineer. Today's with most of my screencasts, I'll be discussing the reciprocal system, specifically the reciprocal system microcosmos database. In previous weeks, I covered all the layouts and fields of the reciprocal system macrocosmos database. Now, I'm starting with the microcosmos database. So you can see here, this database module has solid matter properties, interatomic distance, valence, specific heat, energy, and entropy, thermal expansion, compressibility, electrical and magnetic properties, isotopes, and atomic spectra liquid and vapor and gas matter properties, volume and density, specific heat, energy and entropy, viscosity and surface tension, electrical and thermal conductivity. And it also covers cosmic elements and subatomic particles, both material and cosmic and photon properties. All right, so let's go, let's start. Go into interatomic distance here. For our sample uh, element, we're gonna go with iron, Fe, you could put uh, an element or compound or mix in this field here. The description, obviously, iron in, in this case. The form number, as I've explained, is if you have, if you want to put in multiple records for the same element or compound, you can do so. Uh, and then just increment the form number. That's all that's for. It's kind of useful. For example, with phosphorus, you have red, black, and white phosphorus. So you could uh, use a different form number for each of the variations. Then the atomic molecular weight goes here. Melting temperature is here. Thermal factors and compressibility factors come from Dewey Larson's work, uh, Basic Properties of Matter, which incidentally you should read um, before undertaking um, to work with this uh, module, database module. Okay, so now <clears throat> we go here. Uh, the element or group. Uh, now this is if you're, uh, well in this case, both element or group one and two are the same because we're just dealing with iron, but if for a compound, you would put in two of the elements of the compound in these fields here. And then the, um, this will come up automatically. These are the possible uh, specific rotations. So this is already taken care of, basically, it just comes in. Now you can see here, now these are calculated, density at 0K, and then temperature from the thermal expansion screen at a given temperature. Uh, and of course this is in, in grams per centimeter cubed, and that's in Kelvin there. Uh, the radius is calculated, this is the radius of the atom, incidentally in femtometers, 4.16 or 4.183 rather, same here. <clears throat> now we can have different interatomic distances depending on what the specific magnetic rotation is and the specific electric rotation. The scoop here is for the element here and this scoop here would be for the element here. Uh, and of course they're the same in this case. And then the bond type and then uh, the calculation for the interatomic distance. Okay, so, and that's in angstroms, by the way. This is the S0 means the equilibrium interatomic distance uh, at the given uh, temperature, 2.4780 angstroms. If these specific rotations are used, and 2.5704 angstroms, if these specific rotations are used. Again, you're going to have to refer to basic properties of matter. Uh, you should also have a good command of the, of the uh, um, uh, nothing but motion work, which is the first volume in the revised structure of the physical universe. So the two database modules would be, uh, I'll, I'll take a break here, the two database modules would be utilized after you've read most of Larson's work and then also my work specifically existence, interactions, computational treatise of the reciprocal system, the true theory of everything. All the equations are in there, <clears throat> which gives the basis. You can't do any of this in quantum mechanics. You can't uh, calculate an atomic distance using quantum mechanics, by the way. 
All right, so here are the crystal lattice parameters, uh, different cells at different temperature, of course. These usually cubic uh, BCC, sometimes FCC. That's body centered cubic, face centered cubic. Uh, edge A in angstroms, edge B in angstroms, edge C in angstroms, okay? And then the angles, alpha uh, in degrees, beta in degrees, and gamma in degrees here. And the number of molecules, in this case, atoms per cell, too. So here we calculate the volume in cubic centimeters times 10 to the minus 24th and the density in grams per centimeter cubed. Let's see if I notate that. I guess not. But it, it's obvious that all these numbers are grams per centimeter cubed. And now the basis. Uh, you can type in the cell number is here. So you, we have four different types, element two basis, etc. And uh, now notice that these are in lattice coordinates for each of the listed cells. Um, so just keep that in mind. And then you, you put in the lattice coordinates here, and the, and the program will then calculate the atomic distance. In this case, 2.4825. And here are the um, other cell parameters, H, K, and, and L. And the interplanar spacing is also calculated. Uh, so interplanar spacing and so on and so forth there. The scattering constant, if we were to beam alpha particles, uh, alpha particles at uh, some iron, we, uh, this is in meters squared per stair rating, 10 centimeters and minus 28, that this is calculated 1.0111, the scattering constant. And uh, the alternate uh, rotational displacement is given here. Um, that's the default if the field to the, the right is blank, okay, which it is. Okay, so uh, here, let's see, if we were, if we wanted to calculate the bond angle, you would have to put in a lattice constants here. I'm not actually going to do that, and then that'll uh, calculate the, um, I, I guess we could, we could do that. Um, let's see. By the way, it's this comes up automatically. It's just an element or a compound. It's automatically, of course, E for element. And the data comes from Wyckoff's uh, famous volume on crystal crystal structure. And let's just put put this in lattice coordinates. I don't know zero uh, zero zero. Guess we could put in 0.5. See if this works. 0.5. And what's the other one? Uh, 0.5. So the bond angle for this particular case would be 141.30 degrees. I don't know how useful that is, but it's here. <laughs> All right. Well, th this is this is actually pretty amazing. The calculations here. Uh, it, it tells you the density uh, at zero K, which is here, and then. For the temperature used in the thermal expansion screen, which in this case is 420, so you can see uh, it's a little less dense, obviously, at 420K than it would be at zero, a little bit, a lot. And these are the two different bond types, neutral, magnetic, positive, positive. Positive is the usual type of bond for uh, metallic atoms like iron. All right, well, that was uh, kind of interesting. Uh, you can, um, like here's cobalt, I'm just going to go through some of these records, nickel, copper. I've filled all these out for all the elements and quite a few different compounds. Let's see, 
let's just, uh, just out of curiosity, let's find H2O. This would be ice, for example. Okay, so here's ice, ice water and steam. <laughs> and it shows the uh, bond types are here. All the usual stuff, the same thing I've gone over. Packing factor. Different types of crystal system, hexagonal, tetragonal, cubic, face center, cubic. All right, well, that's, that's enough for today. You won't find anything like this with quantum mechanics, I can tell you that. All right, so please study the reciprocal system improvement for yourself. The simplest possible treatment of the theory is given in my work, The Unmysterious Universe, published many decades ago, but it has all the concepts, many uh, diagrams, figures, very easy to, to understand. Now, if you do want all the math, please obtain my magnum opus, Existence and Interactions, a Computational Treatise of the Reciprocal System, the True Theory of Everything. 711 pages in the PDF file, 711 slides in the PowerPoint file, thousands and thousands of equations, uh, tables, figures, you name it, it's in there. 50 years worth of work on the reciprocal system is in this software ebook. And then once you get done with that, you could then get the Microcosmos database, which I've just gone over the first layout, or the Macrocosmos database. The Macrocosmos database covers the universe as a whole, galaxy clusters, galaxies, star clusters, stars, planets, moons, minor bodies like comets and asteroids, nebulae, gas and dust, and voids. And you can see all of my YouTube videos covering that. Now, my theoretical physics mentor, Doobie Larson, was also a theoretical economist and I've made his work in economics also fully computational, just like I've made his physical science theories fully computational. So you can obtain my work, Optimal Economist and Implementation of Larsonian Econophysics, and it covers the economics of individuals and businesses, business sectors, that's what we call microeconomics. It also covers macroeconomics of whole countries and regions completely supersedes Keynesian economics. You can find my paper free to read on the web, Theory of Microeconomics and Macroeconomics, Larsonian Econophysics. So look it up. All right, well, that, uh, that's it. Uh, again, please study the reciprocal system and prove it for yourself. Thanks for your attention.